WLKY Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, what well, started out as a very hot and muggy day into the early afternoon. Boy, quickly turned stormy as those storms erupted right around 2 to 2.15, and some of them producing tornado warnings for areas just off to the west-northwest of Louisville. This storm was actually warned for a tornado as it was moving through the Salem area. This picture was captured by Clinton there, and you can see a well-defined what we call wall cloud. And no doubt it was probably rotating as there was some low level rotation in the storm at the time. Uh, very ominous looking skies, not only over Salem, but across a good chunk of the viewing area. The good news from those tornado warnings, nothing confirmed. Touching down, no funnel clouds, just some gusty winds, a little bit of hail, and certainly heavy rainfall. As far as what's going on outside right now, live look from the Ali Center. Boy, it's a rough go out there on the roadways. It's going to be slow go for the people coming home from work as the rain continues, heavy at times, also some gusty winds, and we still have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for portions of the metropolitan area. As a matter of fact, here they are in yellow, severe thunderstorm warnings close to Corridon, eastern sections of Harrison County, right through about the southwestern two-thirds of Jefferson County, into Bullitt County, over towards Taylorsville, and Taylorsville Lake just south of Shelbyville and immediately north of Bardstown. And what these storms are worn for, a little bit of hail, but winds that could easily be 50 to isolated 60 mile per hour wind gusts. You can see this activity rolling in from the west and northwest, really erupting in that high heat and humidity during the early to mid afternoon hours. Heaviest of the thunderstorm activity is now across southern portions of Jefferson and still across Harrison County. That's where the wind field is still the strongest. As we go into our severe weather or 3D mode, check out the cores reaching way up into the atmosphere. Some of the storm tops, 50, 55,000 feet, a little bit taller in a few spots. Of course, the taller the storm, the, more, the, the stronger the storm, the more capability that storm has to produce some type of severe weather, and that's what's going on on this Thursday afternoon. Whenever you see a core that high, that means the storm can certainly produce a lot of wind and hail, and this thing is still picking up at least a hail core immediately west of Valley Station in southeastern sections of Harrison County, and hail has been reported in places like Cordon, Elizabeth, and Lanesville, the size of Nichols, even one inch in diameter hail and even around the metro we've had reports of pea size hail so some strong weather moving through that's for sure this is the wind field and we have had reports of 50 to 55 mile an hour wind gusts around the metro around bowman airfield but the latest wind field from elizabeth to valley station the southwestern side here of jefferson county near the memorial forest wouldn't be a bit surprised to see 60 mile an hour winds at this time as this area of storms continues to move off towards the east and also the southeast. So let's track it for you. Let's go over to Super Doppler Radar. Uh, the line of storms, which is now across the southern sections of Jefferson County, far eastern Harrison County into northern Bullitt County and Spencer County, tracking slowly southeastward at 25 to 30 miles per hour. If you're watching from, uh, let's say, places like High Grove, 532, Bardstown Junction, 535, Fairfield around 541, uh, Nazareth area right around 553. That's when the leading edge, the higher wind field, the heavy rains, a lot of lightning and thunder could be impacting your area. The one thing that I want to point out, as the storms continue to move south, there has been a weakening trend, and that's because as you go south of Louisville, there's a lot of warm air in the upper level parts of the atmosphere. We call that a cap, and that tends to uh, weaken storms and that's exactly what's happening so we're going to watch that trend and hope that trend certainly continues over the next 30 to 60 minutes all right keep in mind severe thunderstorm watch that remains in effect until 11 o'clock tonight for just about all of the viewing area certainly Louisville points off to the south again until 11 o'clock tonight so we'll be here all evening keeping you up to date outside right now temperatures have really cooled off mid 70s feels really good out there right now considering what it felt like. Humidity 90%, a west breeze in here, officially at the airport, 14 miles an hour, but around parts of the metro and Harrison County, those winds could be a lot higher 
right now. Here's a look at tomorrow's weather. This is the good news. As we move into Friday, I think we'll wake up to partly, maybe even mostly cloudy skies, then a mix of sun and clouds into and through the afternoon. But hey, it looks dry. It looks quiet. No storms tomorrow as the cold front that's kicking off today's storms will be well south. Still going to be a warm day, don't get me wrong. Upper 80s to near 90 in spots, but again, just a little bit lower humidity as we'll be building in and uh, some slightly, some slightly cooler air for your Friday afternoon. Here's the forecast in detail. For this evening, certainly stormy the next couple of hours. Uh, some of the storms producing some hail and high winds. As we roll towards 10 o'clock, most of those storms will shift south. We wake up dry in the morning, 72 midday temperatures with partly to mostly sunny skies right around 83. And on your seven day forecast, we will see um, hot temperatures moving in for the weekend, a pair of 93s for Saturday and also Sunday. Uh, the next chance for storms after this evening, Gianna, Eric comes in Sunday and lingers into Monday. If I